Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Monday Nights at the Movies. Today we're going on to Scarface. Uh, this came out in 2006 and is a sequel to the film. It actually starts at the end of the film but with an alternate ending to what the film had. So yeah, let's get into part one. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the actual like audio from the film for this bit. It's great. Of course. In the film, he gets shot in the back there, but uh, we get to take matters into our own hands and uh, not worry about him. That's right. The great bit about Rage is that you just, you don't lose any health and or ammo. Shoot as much as you want. Yeah, fuck you guys. Tony, come on, man. Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. We got your car out in front, but the entry collapsed, so we couldn't get to you. We can use the underground passage to the backyard and then to your car. Fucking go, man. Let's go. <laughs> oh, they know about the underground passage, huh? One of the best bits about this game was uh, being able to get a chainsaw. And you could actually saw every part of their body off if you did it in the right order. I think you had to do arms, then head, then legs. It's great. Fucking <laughs> his little, his, the way he goes at people is great. Like with his little, his little quotes. This way, this way. Over here, boss. All right, let's do this. All right, we'll go that way then. Fuck okay. it. That must have been the way I was just being blind. Oh, sick. He's taking down all of my guys. Yeah, fuck you guys. Yeah, how do you like that? <laughs> Literally says what I say after pretty much any kill on any game. Fucking die! Oh, yep, that's my target. Love to see it. Alright. Didn't realise that was going to happen if I just did that. He just says fucking die all the time. It's great. Surely we've got to the car now. Here's the SWAT team. Okay, it is the SWAT rather than just the police. Or DEA. Whatever. Mr. Sosa. Yes? Speak to me. The job is done. Montana is gone. Three months later, wow. Gotta talk to Sheffield. Set things straight. Find out what he knows. Okay, here we go. He's got himself somewhat settled again. Sheffield and Associates, how can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to George. May I ask who's inquiring? 
Why don't you tell him Tony Montana would like to have a word with him? <coughs> Hello? You there? Of course, Mr. Montana. Mr. Sheffield is interested to speak with you as well. Okay. You wanna let me in or is this how we're gonna do business <laughs> now? Through the hole in the wall? Mr. Sheffield is having a business lunch at the Babylon Club at the moment. I can tell him that you wish to speak with him. That's okay. We're gonna go find him. All right, we're here. Where are we? Looks like the strip club in uh, fucking Grand Theft Auto V. Mr. Montana? Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead. You writing a fucking book or what? No, no, I, I just... Do you know how hard it's been to get any good coke around here? Is that Hossa Sheffield in the club? Yeah, he in here. There's a couple of guys from Vice in here, too. Watch your back, Tony. Thanks, man. Mr. Sheffield. If you want any free legal advice, how about a little head? Wow. You need to talk, George. What do you want? Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man. Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? Tony, come on. Where the hell you been? What happened? Where's the loyalty, George, you fucking snake? I know you got connections. You just gotta yeah, make George. it happen. Make it happen. You took my money before, and that makes you just <laughs> as bad as me. But I'm alive, George. I'm alive. And now what you're gonna do, huh? You still work for me. All right, Tony. You want to get something going? A friend of mine runs the bar in Coconut Grove. Talk to her. Okay, that's what we'll go do. What's all over your face, pal? Your wife's <laughs> pussy. Well, little man, I'd be real careful walking around town with that stuff. Yeah, you never know who you might run into. Okay, Tony, no more bullshit. You know how this works. We've got your mansion locked up tighter than a nun's ass, and if you want it back, you're gonna have to cough up the cash. I need ten grand to give to let them give up my mansion. Fuck that. I gotta talk to Felix. See what he knows. That's cheap. Alright, let's go talk to Felix. I uh fucked my car up, didn't I? Should try and avoid crashing. I drive better than you getting a hand job. <laughs> Hey, do you want to get some ice cream? <laughs> How old is she? Ten? Felix, how'd you doing, man? Oh, shit. It's fucking true. Oh, word spreads fast. Tony, Jesus, it's good to see you. How's business, Felix? Just still working all the angles? It's tough, Tony. I've been laying low, you know, since you left. Sosa's trying to run me out. He's putting the squeeze on all the small time suppliers. Hey, who is that? All that gonna change. I'm with you, Tony. If you need me, man. Take what I've got to get you started. Talk to Coco. She's one of the only dealers we can trust anymore. She works the bar down in the grove. If you ever need a hit to get rolling, just come find me, Tony. Okay, man. No thanks. It's, it's great that you get to play a bad guy in this. What the fuck? Where's my car? Right, I need your car. The fuck out. Take the bus. All right. Looks like I know where we need to go. Where's Coco? Give me a scotch. On the rocks. Straight up. I know you. No, we never met. No, but you've been here before, a long time ago. You were with another man, tall, good-looking Cuban guy. Oh, you got a good memory, Tiger. Okay, Tony. I can only push so much product in a day. The bar has its limits. Others around though, just can't always trust them. Me, I only trust one person. I hear you, Tiger. Yeah, he trusts himself. What's up, dude? We got you got the shit. Sell a hundred grams. Okay. Ooh, yeah, ten grand. Good, you know, you don't know how dear this cost me. I don't know who has ten grand on him at any one point. Go get my mansion back. Yes. I'm going to guess it's all the way at the end of this road. We're here. Yes. Fuck. Let's go pay off the police, eh? The government not paying you clowns enough? Hey, buddy, we're vice. Not some loose-knit government agency looking for handouts. So, if you want to keep it cool with us, Montana, we suggest you make a donation. Maybe you two should go home and donate a little something to your wives, you know? Relax. <laughs> <laughs>
Watching you, boy. Well, we have the mansion back. Okay, and that is where we're going to end this episode of Monday Nights at the Movies. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Monday Night at the Movies, then please subscribe, and I will see you next time.